Hey everyone, welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. Today I have a requested magic review for you. We're gonna be taking a look at Witch Money Card by Danny Urbanus. The Monty with one card, that's the best thing ever. That's the best thing ever. It's a three card Monty with one card. So you guys may remember the last time I reviewed an effect by Danny Urbanus. It was called Lazy Man's Penetrations, and that was one of my favorite things I picked up last year. Here, Danny Urbanus is offering you a crazy visual four-phase Monty-type routine, which is perfect for close-up, video chat, social media. Um, you can pick this up for about $11 or 9.95 euros directly from his website, and I will leave a link in the description you're gonna get a 17 minute instructional video where you'll learn the main routine, uh, which I'm gonna put the full on cut performance here so you guys can see it. And uh, you're also gonna learn uh, a handling that's in the hands for the spectator. And uh, as an extra, you're also gonna learn something he calls three pieces and a Monty. Now, is this what I thought it was? Pretty much it was. I really liked how there was no gimmicks or gaffes in play. Um, I really liked how it was something that is very visual, um, definitely demands attention. The whole routine is less than a minute in duration, and it took me about 20 minutes to learn the routine. Um, it won't take you long at all, and it really is nice for performing close up. In my own performances, my own road testing of this, I only got really strong reactions. Everybody really liked how visual it was. Um, in terms of difficulty, they said it's intermediate level, but I would say it's more like advanced beginner. There's no difficult slights, and if you're familiar with some standard Monty moves, then you may even recognize them in the full uncut performance there. Um, in terms of some negative things, I'll tell you guys that you know you really do need to have cards like this that have a real solid background. That way, the ending is really, really strong. So that may be a negative for some people. Um, the other thing is I think that the whole uh, project feels a little bit incomplete because Danny Urbanus could have gone into more about how to get into the routine, how to do more of a cleanup. There is no presentation or patter that's offered for either of these routines. In terms of the Witch Money card, it's so fast and visual that you don't even need to have any presentation or patter. But the extra bonus item, which is called Three Pieces and a Monty, probably would have been better if he offered you more of a presentation with that and maybe more instruction on what to do with the extra pip corner. So the three pieces and a Monty, you take out an ace, you fold it into quarters, you tear it up, you take one of the pip corners and put it in your pocket and you take the other three pieces and you do a three phase Monty routine. At the end of the third phase, um, the pip corner has disappeared and there's a really nice frustration count that he, that he teaches you there which is really convincing and the pip corner ends up under a glass or wherever you want it to end up but under your mat or whatever or in a wallet or something like that um, which is really nice I think most people are gonna like that bonus item even more than the main routine you really are getting a lot for your money here because for eleven dollars you're getting two routines um, the real negative aspect is just that, that there's no real presentation or pattern for the three pieces in a Monty, but you'll be able to come up with it really easily. Now, I don't think that the effect is really impromptu in nature unless you carry around an extra card with you, like an extra odd back card with you, then it really does become impromptu. But when you compare this to other highly visual Monty type routines, like Skinner's three card Monty, well, Skinner's three card Monty, you can't perform it without the gaff cards. So here, if you just carry one odd back card, you'll be able to perform 
the effect anytime that you want to. The cards, of course, are totally examinable, and I like how with one of the pre with one of the handlings, he shows you how you can hand out the odd back card, which is really nice because that's the card that really has the heat on it um, overall. So, um, how does this compare with, for me personally, other Monty type routines? I will tell you guys, this does not replace my favorite impromptu Monty routine, but this is definitely a Monty type routine that I will be performing more, especially because of its visual nature. And as long as I have that odd back card, it's something that I would definitely consider going into, especially from the reactions that I got. If you are interested to know my favorite impromptu Monty routine, uh, that's from Jack Carpenter and it's called Out With Molly. You can find that on his DVD project called The Magic of Jack Carpenter, Volume 2. In fact, I like it so much, I'm gonna show you guys a quick demo of it in my own hands. So here's a quick demo for Jack Carpenter's Out With Molly. This is probably my favorite impromptu three card Monty type routine. I can get into this at any time from a shuffle deck in use. You can use a borrowed deck has a really nice kicker at the end. So the premise is simple. You tell the spectators that we're gonna use three cards. We're gonna be using the two red aces and a black queen. You tell them that you want them to sign it with your Sharpie, and that's really important for the finale. So here I'm not gonna have it signed because there's no point to it, but if you're with a spectator, you have them sign it across the face. That way they know that it's the only one like it's kind. You tell them that the premise is this. You just have to follow the queen, follow the lady. Um, so you keep your eye here on the black queen. I'm going to try to distract you with these aces here. Now here it is, the big switch. Where do you think that queen is? <laughs> they may choose a different one and you say, no, look, it really is here. So you say, you know what? I kind of know what happened there. It was that really complex mixing process. You got confused. You didn't really realize where the queen went. So this time I'll let you put your finger on the card before we even start, okay? Here, you put your finger on the queen. Go ahead, put it on there. There, they're gonna probably accuse you of doing an open switch and you say, no, look, really, it really is here. Because remember, these cards, yeah, these are just the distracting aces. Now, I know what you're probably thinking here. You're probably thinking that you're not gonna win no matter what you choose. That is, if you chose this card, you're gonna get an ace. And of course, if you choose, for instance, this card or this card, you're just gonna get aces too. So it looks like there's not a winner but there's always a winner if you know where to choose. Now, uh, let's try it one last time, but let's just change things up. I'm gonna leave the queen face up. In fact, I'm gonna leave, it, uh, leave an ace underneath it and another ace on top, so that way it's sandwiched between the aces. So for the first time, or the last time, where do you think that black queen is? And here they'll <laughs> undoubtedly tell you that it's in the center. And you say, you know what, when you start thinking that the card's in the center, that's when you end up behind the eight ball because it's really not in the center as you can see. Um, in fact, it's also not here and it's not down here. So the question is, where did it go? I think it may have jumped back to the pack even though we didn't go anywhere near it, which is really weird. So here you just spread out the pack and you show that there's one face down card here. So look, I'm just gonna pick this up nice and slowly with these cards. And you can see here what the situation is. Your card that you signed in between the aces. And that is the finale of the effect. And it's really strong, especially that real, that ending, that kicker ending, because their signed card is gonna end up um, backwards in the deck. It's just really, really strong. So I urge you to check that out. All right, so you guys took a look at a demo of Out with Molly, and I still use that all the time. I've used it for years. Um, so it's something that you may want to check out. Um, that's why I include it here for you guys. So just summing up here on Which Money Card by Danny Urbanis, I definitely would recommend this to you guys without any reservation. I think you're getting a lot for your money. I think you're going to really like the visual nature of the effect. Um, and I would also tell you that that bonus item of three pieces in a Monty is worth the price alone because that is a completely impromptu three card Monty type routine, which is super easy to perform. It's very visual. It's got some really nice convincers in there. And I really like how the extra piece ends up somewhere else. It would have just been nice if there was a little bit more instruction. My final rating for this product is four out of five stars. 
and it's only because it felt like it was a little bit incomplete. That being said, I definitely recommend it to you guys and I would recommend that you check this out. If you have any questions about this or anything else that I review, please just leave me a comment below and this has been another requested magic review. Thanks guys, I'll see you on the next review.